Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In this video here, we're going to talk about a roadmap to an AI and machine learning engineer. So a lot of you guys have asked me in the comment section, like how we can get into AI and machine learning. What is the roadmap? What do you need to learn? How can you get started from scratch? Do you need like an AI degree? Do you need like a computer science degree and so on? So we're going to cover that in this video. We're going to see some of the examples of like how I've been doing it, a standard roadmap to become an AI and machine learning engineer. So first of all, we're going to have an introduction to AI. First of all, you need to know like what is AI, the impact of AI, future trends, and also applications and projects that you can build with AI. So again, there's a lot of different domains and also fields within AI. So you need to learn about that as well and see what you're actually like, interested in. So we have the computer vision side, we have the LP side with natural language processing. So that is more text and also audio. We also just have time series data. So basically just the miracle data that we want to apply AI on that could be for classification, it could be for recreation, it could be for like analyzing different types of data sets. So there's a lot of different domains. Some of them are actually like coming together now within AI. They act like starting to create like AI models that can take in different types of input, basically combine it into the same space. But when you're starting out with AI, you should definitely like start in one domain and then you should just keep on exploring of that. Because a lot of the things can actually like be transferred from one domain or like one field to the other. So you should just like start focusing on one, get the fundamentals correct. And then it doesn't really matter like too much what type of domain that you're actually like setting up your model for training the models and the data that you're playing around with so after that when you have a good understanding of like what is ai you have some interest in a specific field we will need some basic math background as well so it's not like you need to be like some kind of like god level ma mathematician you basically just need some basic statistics probability theory uh, some linear algebra and also just calculus but the most important one is probably just statistics and also linear algebra. Basically, everything that we're doing within AI, deep learning, machine learning, and so on comes down to linear algebra when we're doing all the calculations back and forth. And then there's also a lot of statistics on top of that for the models, the individual layers, and also the neurons and so on, like how they work together. So you guys probably already have the background in math if you have uh, attended college degrees, um, even high school, like you can get away with high school linear algebra statistics and so on. But after that, we also need some basic programming skills and then we just keep on developing our programming skills to become a better AI and machine learning engineer because it is really essential that you're able to do um, programming. The most common programming languages for AI and machine learning is definitely Python. Like all the models you are going to train, all the data set that you're handling and so on is in Python. Then we can go in and do inference. We can deploy the model and so on in C++. Um, if you're doing like edge devices, if you want to combine it into a larger system, but let's throw that away from now. You can just get started with Python, get familiar with Python so you get some basic programming skills and then you can keep developing on top of that together with the math, the statistics and also just the theory behind the machine learning and AI models. After we have some basic programming skills, we will need to learn a bit about like the data. So the data science part around machine learning, you can get started with that together with the basic concepts of machine learning. So that could be like supervised learning, unsupervised learning, what are the differences between those? So if you're starting out with deep learning, like what is a neuron? What is a bias? How can they be combined? How do they work together? What are layers? What types of layers do we have? And all those different kind of things. And then you will just keep building on top of that. We have optimization. How do we train a model? Like how how do we act like have a loss function, activation functions? How do they go hand in hand? How can we use them together? What are differences and so on? So all of those things is basically just the theoretical parts that you can directly implement in some practical applications. If you're just starting out with machine learning AI and you want to do like AI um, or like deep learning, you should definitely check out like TensorFlow and also Keras. It is really easy to get started with. If you want to start on an even lower level and just do some basic machine learning algorithms like K nearest neighbors, uh, support vector machines, uh, random firsts, and so on. You can start with, for example, like SK Learn or like Scikit Learn, which is a really nice framework and library for getting into AI. They also have some example data that you could play around with. But basically, it is really easy to set up the models, get hands on on act like problems to start with that is the best way that you can learn so while you're actually like learning all these different kind of like concepts and you try to like merge them and combine them together make sure that you also do a lot of practical work you of course need to learn like how the basics works but you 
will only learn and be better AI and especially like become an AI and machine learning engineer if you actually like know how to apply it. And sometimes it also makes more sense, like the theoretical part, they make more sense if you actually like see it work. Okay, it works in this way, it works in that way. Okay, we can combine it like that. This optimizer here, it affects the training of the model in this way. The other optimizer here affects it in another way. Okay, I can try different types of loss functions. I can try out different types of um, basically like outputs, try to tune some of the high parameters, see how they affect the training and also the output of your model, the learning rate, the optimizer, all the other high parameters and so on, the number of layers that you need to have in your network, all these things you will only get that with experience and actually like having hands on the keyboard. So after we have that, we can have some more like high, high level frameworks, as I already mentioned, like uh, TensorFlow, Keras, uh, we can go in and create neural networks, convolutional neural networks, recurrent neural networks. You can even go in and take a look at transformer transformers when you get on a higher level, but start on the low level, get a good understanding of like how does these models act like work under the hood. Sometimes people just jump straight into these high level like frameworks and it doesn't really like work in that way. You won't get any like knowledge and experience from that. You can't really build the roof on top of the house like if you don't have the foundation, if you don't have like knowledge about like how does this act like work under the hood, you will get way better as a machine learning and also a, an AI engineer. If you have the basic understanding, then you can just keep building on top of that. The most important thing is that you put in the time. So after we have learned like the large frameworks within AI machine learning, we can also do machine learning operations. So how we can actually like deploy the models on cloud services. So that could be like Azure, Amazon Web Services and so on. So that is an even higher level when we actually want to take our AI models, machine learning models into production, but also basically just to get the business, uh, business overview into it, become an AI engineer, because again, if you can just train the models, if we don't know how to like deploy models, how to use the models in the real life, it doesn't really matter like that we can train these models when in our um, Google Colab notebook or whatever. We also need to act like create applications, projects, deploy them that could either be like on cloud services, but it could also be on its devices. So when you have all that, you act like on a pretty good track to become an AI and machine learning engineer. If you're not already like a machine learning and engineer on a lower level or a junior level at that point, and then the rest basically just comes with experience. Everything again, I can't say it enough. Everything comes with time, spending time on acts like solving problems. That is the most important thing to learn AI and machine learning and basically just whatever like you want to learn in life. So if you want to take your machine learning AI and computer vision skills to the next level, I also have my courses on the website. You can go check them out. We have everything from update detection with deployment, update tracking with Yolo V8. We also have transformers and segmentation courses. The most interesting one for me is definitely like this research paper implementation course where we learn how to actually like implement research paper architecture. So we're going to have the architecture on one side, we're going to have code on the other side. So it's now going to see some of the tools that I'm using to act like just um, improving and becoming an AI machine learning engineer. So basically the way that I did it was create this YouTube channel here. I went over the different types of tutorials. First of all, I got the understanding to try to teach it to you guys as well. I created some playlists with computer vision. So I actually started out in computer vision. Then I went more into deep learning, trying to combine deep learning and computer vision together. And now we're basically just covering like everything within AI, machine learning, and also computer vision. All of these domains are starting to come together. Then I created a lot of cool projects. Like I have all my repositories here on my GitHub. You can go check that out. But again, get the experience, play around with it. Like that is the only way to become an AI machine learning engineer. Some of the other cool aspects that you can go and take a look at just for inspiration and also just keeping the motivation up. Here in Hockey Face, they have to have these daily papers. I use that every day. So this is the first, first thing that I'm opening up in the morning when I wake up is basically just these daily papers if there's something interesting that I want to read throughout the day. So that is pretty cool for just staying up to date with some of the newest um, technologies and models within AI and machine learning. Then you can basically just take a look at all the days. Sometimes they also have a video visualizing what these papers are about. But Hawking Face is also pretty good for both like models, data sets. You can go in and get data sets and also AI machine learning models that you can directly use. You can also use CACT and so on. Also really good to start out with. Um, but I also have these spaces here so we can go in and try AI models without even like the need of um, implementing them. We can try to see what is actually like possible with AI, what types of applications and use cases can we use AI for. So this is really good when you're actually like getting into AI just as an introduction. So what is AI actually? 
uh, what types of application can we create with it, what is an AI model, and what is the capabilities of it. So here we can basically just see all these different types of things. Um, we have some like Lama 2 with Gradio Chat, so these new large language models like ChatGPT, GPT, and, and so on. We also have something like Laura the Explorer. We have a lot of generative AI going on right now. But you can basically just go in and try these AI models. So let's take one here, pixel art, we can run it. And then you can basically just take an image, throw it through a model, you can test it out, see how it works. Um, you can even go in and see the files. So after that, you can go in and see the files for like, how do they set up the app? How are they using the models and so on? So this is also a really nice resource if you're getting into AI machine learning and so on. Even if you're on a high level, like this is just cool to like, find out new resources, find out new models that you want to test out, see what are the outputs without even have to spend time on implementing the models yourself. So the last thing that I want to show you guys is my YouTube channel here where I have a lot of resources. This is basically like what I have used to become an AI and machine learning engineer. So if you go through all of this, like if you just do some kind of the same within your own domain, find your own niche and, and also your own interest, you can come in here, get the fundamentals of AI deep learning, um, the different types of frameworks and so on. We also create some pretty cool projects in here that you can take a look at. All the code will be available as well, which is also really helpful for you guys when you're starting out. But let's take a look at the playlist here. Um, so I have some tracking with YOLO, so that is on a more high level where we actually like use it for some use cases. But I have this neural networks and deep learning tutorial with Keras, which is actually like what I would recommend to start out with. Keras, it is really good. You can basically just call like, you can basically just create a model. You can just specify the layers that you want to have in your model. Then you can load in your data set and then you can just call a single function train. It will train your model. It can lock all the training results and so on. And you can tune the high parameters back and forth um, and all those cool things. So yeah, I have a whole playlist here where we have like layers and activation, mastering optimizers, training validation test data sets, how to train a neural networks and make predictions, overfitting and underfitting. So basically just all these basic concepts behind deep learning, AI and machine learning. If you want a bit more structure, I also have my courses in here on my channel. So I basically have my courses here as well, where we go over like YOLO v7 for optic detection and also how we can deploy them on our own devices in different ways. We have transformers and segmentation cores, which is on a more high level so I'll probably not recommend this if you're just starting out, but this is a really um, high level course. We also just have these YOLO V8 optic tracking courses. This research paper implementation course is also pretty good if you're starting out. Like how can you read research papers? How can you read it in the most efficient way? And also how can you implement it? It is really good uh, practice. And also just to see like how can we actually like, take a research papers and implement the code directly from those. So yeah, I have my YouTube channel. I have my courses here as well. There's also a ton of other resources out there on both YouTube. Um, Kaggle, Hog and Face, uh, GitHub in general, and all those different kind of sites. So definitely just use what is most suitable for you. And then I hope this has covered like everything. We might go into more details later on. So I hope this video can help you guys get into AI machine learning. It is a really cool field and space. Everything is going so fast, but basically just get started. That is the most important thing. Just take the first step, get into it if you're interested. Throw down in the comment section if you have any comments, if you have any questions, I'll definitely go in and answer them. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hit the subscribe button or else I'll see you next week guys. Bye for now.